Join my hunt. I knew you'd be back. The owl knows. She's Athena's favorite bird, you know. I'm here for the key to the vault. You know, what are you doing here? <laughs> That's nearly ridiculous. So, you're telling me it's not here? I hid it somewhere safe. It's underwater in the Ariavigny shipwreck. That doesn't sound very safe. How could it not be safe, surrounded by so many defenders? Why do I never get the easy jobs? Who knows? <laughs> Megaris, the city of pigs. Enemies no longer.
I found your key. Your associate certainly kept it well protected. He ought to have. I paid him well enough to do so. Where exactly are you getting your drachmi from? I have very few needs and spend only on what I find important. I'm very nearly thrifty. Now that I have the key, is there anything else I need to prepare to visit the Island of Fire? You tell me, Mistios. Do you feel prepared to explore the foundry of Ephestos? Wait. You're not going to ask me a strange question first? Perhaps I'll think of one later. I'm ready to explore that island. Very good. You are proving your worth. How am I now? I'm impressed. There is an island swathed with clouds of smoke where the earth blazes with fire. It's called the Foundry of Ephestos. A legendary helmet is kept there. Bring it here so I might study it. Seems like a dangerous journey for just a helmet. It's not nearly the only treasure there. You can keep anything else you find. All right. I'll go to the island and find the helmet. Oh! <laughs> 
Argophoni was an extraordinary woman born of Andromeda, daughter of the proud queen and king of Ethiopia, and Perseus, the Gorgon Slayer after whom she is named. It has long been tradition that women should marry but once, as virgins. If their husbands died before them, they were to live out their lives as widows. Gorgophoni defied this tradition to become the greatest grandmother of Elas. It is said that the warrior woman of advanced age brought so much chaos to the people of Lake Tritonis that Perseus himself arrived to take her life. And some wise people say that was Gorgophoni enjoying her last act of rebellion. Gorgophoni's first husband was Periiris, king of Messini and Sparta. Their sons grew up to be bold princes and kings of Sparta themselves.
But Gorgophoni had a second husband, King Ivalos of Sparta, who would bring her even greater children and grandchildren. Helen of Troy, Castor and Polydevkis, Ivanistra, and many more were her descendants. seems common, but it's been carefully hidden. I should get it back to that woman. That burning island and trapped tomb? You could say they were nearly a challenge. Even for you? You exaggerate, Eagle Bearer. But did you find the helmet? Of course I did. But how could you have known about such a terrible place? And who are you to send me there? Who do you think I am, Cassandra? Some say I show great wisdom. Others say I am wisdom herself. Tell me, who do you think I am? You sent me to a graveyard where I met a desperate man who said Athena herself had sent me to kill him. But I suppose that could mean he only thought you were Athena. 
It's unwise to give too much credit to the rantings of a madman. Then you sent me to a village threatened by lions, with a strange wild man at the center of it all. Was that a divine test of wisdom, or just a coincidence? You sent yourself to the village. I only provided the opportunity. Finally, that strange hermit with the key. He was even under a statue of Athena's icon, the owl. Did you set that all up as a joke, or is there truth in his beliefs? So many thoughts in that head of yours. It's nearly too much to contemplate. Make your decision, Cassandra. As the granddaughter of Leonidas, bearer of the bloodline, I must recognize you as Athena. This helmet you have asked me to return bears your own blessing. If this is true, I should accept your recognizance. But for now, let me see that helmet. I hope this was worth it. You have great faith in humanity. I hope you see it for both its potential and its failings. I'll make an adjustment and... Yes, I think this will be best suited for you. Thank you. I hope you've gained some wisdom from this journey. Yes, I've learned that profit can come from the strangest sources.